Electric vehicles and gasoline or combustion vehicles are going to be competing with each other now. Electric vehicles now exist. Uh, and so it's been a fundamental shift just over the last four or five years and that these vehicles are now a reality, electric vehicles, electric propulsion. But before they become and take over combustion, it's going to be a long time. Uh, it's a big question, will it happen in my lifetime? And uh, I don't think in my lifetime electric vehicles will actually overtake combustion because combustion, the things that have improved electric vehicles also will be improving combustion vehicles at the same time. So it's a moving target. And uh, as electric vehicles get better, combustion vehicles continue to find many, many new areas where they can improve better fuel efficiency, uh, new cycles, interesting cycles that we tried back in 1910. Couldn't be done then, can be done now. So we're actually starting to look at a portfolio of lots of different solutions, new fuels, biofuel, new cycles that haven't been looked at since the 1800s. All those things are going to let us push fuel efficiency a whole lot farther than it's been and uh, I'll expect electric vehicles are going to have a very difficult time uh, displacing combustion uh, vehicles at least over the next 10 or 20 years. Well I mean battery engineers and automotive engineers are two very different sets of people. Um, I suppose they, you know, they, the, the people who are, are pure electric engineers and electric scientists are a purest form of al almost a religious order. And that's a good thing, I mean, that's what gives them the zeal, but at the same time, they don't like to hear any uh, apostate talking about the fact that maybe electricity is going to go slower, or maybe it's not going to be the single answer, maybe there'll be lots of other answers. So yeah, you know, you get that whole spectrum. I've had people come to me and say, oh, Don, did you, did you really say that electrics aren't going to happen for a long time? It's, yeah. Yeah, well, you, you shouldn't say that, it'll slow it down. No, it doesn't slow it down. Reality is what makes it strong. And it's that... It's the truth to test these technologies, because if we don't test the technologies, they're not actually going to be able to compete. So we've got to hit them really hard all the time and really come up with the correct answers as to how they're going to function. So yeah, you know, sometimes people who have dedicated their whole lives to a single specific technology will be upset when you criticize it. But you have to criticize it because you've got to know its weaknesses, because you've got to know what to work on. The automobile, personal transportation, hasn't changed in 100 years. And what we've done over the last 10 years has fundamentally changed what the automobile is and how people are going to get around. The objective was to take something that gave people all sorts of mobility and freedom and turn it into something that gives people freedom, gives people mobility, and doesn't hurt the world and is sustainable far into the future. That's really what our objective has been, is to create a new product that makes personal transportation possible all the way into the next century.